What's up, Grand Peace? What's up, Grand? It's Valerie's Naturals Oracles. And today, I've got this stock song stuck in my head, and I'm going to sing a little bit, but I can't sing, so please forgive me. But it's by Casey and Jojo. It's called All My Life, or The Life, or something like that. But I'm going to sing a little bit because it's just going since three o'clock this morning. This song has been going around in my head, and it goes, All my life. I pray for someone like you I thank God that I that I finally found you all my life I pray for someone like you and I hope that you feel the same way too Yes, I pray that you do love me too. And that song's just been going around in my head. And I'm going to put the lyrics down there because it's deep. There's a bit that goes, um, and I will never find another as precious as you. I will never find another lover as precious as you, as precious as you. You're close to me just like my mother, close to me just like my father, close to me just like my sister, close to me just like my brother. And you are the only one, my everything. And for you this song I sing all my life. I could keep going. That has been going around in my head since three o'clock this morning and there's a reason for it. Brent is trying to tell me something, so I'm going to bring it out in the cards and see what comes out in the cards. And why? But the first thing that's coming up in my head, and before I carry on, until I get excited, because I'm getting excited now, because Spirit's talking to me. Before I go any further, please subscribe, please like, share, comment, because it helps to get the word out there. Because this is deep. And you know what the first thing that's coming up in my head? It's coming up, it's that it's your, it's the masculine's them, or somebody in their masculine energy, or somebody that has a message for somebody, they're saying, it's their 5D talking, it's what they really want to say, but they're not saying. It's like they're saying, you are the person I really need to be with, but I don't know why I'm doing what I'm doing. This is all the message I'm getting. It's their 5D talking, and I forgot a set of cards, which I might go and get, which is my own cards, which I might make into oracle cards one day, but I ain't got around to that yet because I've got other things I need to do. But um, it's a message. So I'm going to flick some cards. Let's get, let's get one oracle card out, or a couple of oracle cards, and see what the overall message is, because that song is stuck in my head. All my life, I pray for someone like you. I keep singing and I can't sing. Please forgive me. <laughs> but spirit is talking. What is the, what is spirit trying to say? Please tell me, spirit. What is it? What is it you're trying to say, spirit? What is it that you want? What's the message for the collective? Holy spirit, holy angels. Thank you for your guidance, protection, assistance, and reading these cards. Please give me the overall message for the collective. What is it you're trying to tell us? What is it you're trying to tell the collective spirit? Because, you know, this is not always only, only about me. This is about the collective. What is it the spirit wants to say? Look at the cards falling out. Let me see what that is. Deep knowing. What is it you have a deep knowing about? You know that your person is really thinking other things, but they're being in their devil energy. Look, it's new life. Do you see that? New life. What's going on? All my life. <laughs> that song is going around in my head. What's going on, Spirit? Tell us. Look, to be fair, time for a nap. And what else is coming up? Never ending. Oh, here you go. See, that song is, that song is all about somebody, what they really want, but it's what they're doing in, what they really want in the 5D. Their 5D person is trying to kick them up the arse. This is what I'm seeing here. Because what I've got here is, to be fair, and that is about, that is about somebody thinking about the situation, really. Time for a nap. This is about... This person is finally getting the message and they know that they need to go away. And this is almost like the hermit card. This is almost like, this is like go away, analyze the situation, meditate on it. Get your sleep. Stop doing what you're doing. Because you know that this is a never ending story. It's like, I was talking to somebody about this. Was it yesterday? Or do, it's about cycles. 
When you see the never ending story come out, it's about people going through cycles. They keep doing and repeating the same thing over and over again and not getting the lesson. They're not getting the lesson. This is what this card is about. I'm gonna flick some cards and see what comes out now because I wanted Bungo Wungo. Spirit's got this song stuck in my head and there's a reason for it. And I think it's the 5D person. This is your person who is the one that is fighting this. It's because it's a dynamic here, it's the runner and the chaser, okay? This is your person who's normally the runner sitting down and thinking to themselves, why am I doing what I'm doing? What is the purpose of what I'm doing? Is there any purpose to why I'm behaving the way I'm behaving? Do you know what I mean? It's like Saturn retrograde is here, right? Today is the 23rd, right? This is early in the morning for me now. This is early. I still got my dressing gown on talking to you, but I can't get this song out of my head. And for some reason, Spirit's saying to me, get this message out. I've got a message for you to give to somebody. Even if if one person gets the message, I would have done my job, okay? But I'm thinking, this is, the Spirit's telling me, this is this person's 5D is talking now. The person's 5D is talking and saying, you know, I've got to stop the cycle now. I've got to sit down and analyse and see where I'm going wrong. Why am I behaving the way I'm behaving? So, let's see. I'm going to get some cards out and flip some cards over this because there's an, there's an endless cycle here. This person's going through... Whoever this is about, this person needs to sit down their arse and keep, keep their arse quiet. <laughs> this is what this person needs to do. Can you see the cards? This person needs to, to, to sit down and keep their corner corner and keep their arse quiet because they keep repeating the same cycles over and over again. It's like, it's like they dip their toe in, they get what they want, they dip out again. But they're still empty inside. And this is what it is. This person is still empty inside and they don't understand why. It's because they're doing the things in the wrong way. They're not sitting down and analysing the situation. I'm, I'm big on research. I'm so big on research. I research everything. If I want to know something, I don't take somebody's word for it. I research it. I do research. I don't, I don't take people's word for anything. I want to know... What's the tea? So if if you know what I'm seeing here, spirits downloaded to me all sorts of nonsense now. But what I'm seeing here is some is people that are going through cycles. They go with a person. This is what I'm getting. They will go with a person who they think is their twin flame, their soulmate, right? And they could be a karmic to them, and they don't realize it. But you know. Just as soulmates and twin flames go through different generations with you, different lifetimes, so can karmic soulmates. And this is what people don't seem to understand, right? So can karmic soulmates. People that are there to teach you lessons time and time again, okay? And they affect you sometimes just the same way as your soulmate, your twin flame, your connection. They treat you, you know, they, they affect you in the same way. They're here to trigger the hell out of you. They're here to teach you lessons. They're here to show you the way, to show you what you're doing wrong, to give you experiences. Because in this life, and I hate, to, I hate when people say I failed, because it's not a failure. It's something that taught you a lesson to pick yourself up and do better. It's to pick yourself up and see the see the um, lesson. It's to pick yourself up and find a way around the problem. It's nothing to do with failure. There is no such thing as failure. You get what I'm saying, peeps? You get what I'm saying? I want that one, peeps. I want that one. <laughs> Let's see what's coming out here. I'm taking some cards out. Oh, we got one in reverse. What's going on? What's going on? Let's see. Okay. So, I'm hoping that Spirit will tell me the story of why, why I've got this song stuck in my head. I thank you that I, that I finally found you. Oh my... I can't sing. I wish I could sing. Oh my life. I wait for someone like you. And I thank you. At the bottom of the deck is the Seven of Swords. <laughs> Look at this. Look at this. The Seven of Swords. This is, this is the muse. If I didn't tell you, this is the muse tarot. This is the sister one to the... Um, 
the Lightseer's Tarot, this is made by the same people, and these cards are fantastic, but they give the voices as swords, voices is swords, basically, so this is, the first card on the bottom of the deck is the Seven of Swords, and look, the Three of Pentacles, they want to work with you, they want to be with you, but they want to be deceptive at the same time, I'm not going there, let's see what's come out here, we got to see what's come out here first, because there's a reason why I've got that song stuck in my head, Okay, so the first set of cards I've got here is the Ace of Inspiration and the Ten of Emotions. So this is the Ace of Wands. This person really does want to take, and this is what I'm getting, this person wants to really take an action, a new beginning, and plan a new action, a new way forward. And it's because this, this is the Ten of Cups. They want their ultimate. The Ten of Cups is about the ultimate happy... Um, happy because this is all about emotions as it says ten of emotions is the ten of cups emotions is cups Okay, and this person wants their ultimate happiness This is one of the happiest cards in the deck So this person wants to take action and this is why this song is coming up my head all my life There's people there's masculines there's people that have, who or, or either in their masculine energy want to come forward to their to their peeps now What's going on? They want this new action-packed, stable beginning. This is the um, page of materials. They want to offer something stable now. The beginning of a new stable relationship. A new stable something. But when you get the inspiration card. When you get the inspiration. This is about the five of wands. For some reason, even though they want to do this. They find something conflicting. There's something conflicting and stopping this person. It's like they've got competition and you've got choices. Is there competition? Is there something that this person is fighting against? Is there something in the background that is 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 causing them conflict? Is causing them, you know what I mean? It's causing them like to not because it's this is about fighting, this is about competition, this is about conflict, this is about somebody. They want to come and take this stable beginning towards you. This is somebody, this is why this song's in my head. This person really wants to have this stable beginning, this new action pack beginning. But I've got both of these cards in reverse now, and I've got the Knight of Emotions and the Knight of Inspiration. Oh! <laughs> Do you know what I'm seeing here? When I see the Knight of Emotions in reverse, right? Because sometimes, if, let me put it in upright. The Knight of Emotions is the Knight of Cups. Knight of Cups is the here and now person, okay? They want to be with you in the here and now until they lose interest. Do you know what I mean? But in reverse, they ain't got no emotions about the situation at all. They want to be logical, but at the same time, they're no longer being this... Oh, the player from the Himalayas! <laughs> but it's in reverse! The player from the Himalayas doesn't want to... I don't want to be a player no more. <laughs> na, 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 na. How's that song go for? I want to be a player no more. The player from the Himalayas doesn't want to be the player from the Himalayas. But they don't know what it is to be in love. They don't know what real love is. And this is what it is. All my life, I waited for someone like you. And I thank God. But they don't know how to love. See, look, this is like... They know this is divinely guided to them. This is the fourth inspiration, the fourth ones. This is the 11-11 card. This is the togetherness. This is the home card. This is... This, somebody, this is what it is. This person feels that you are like home. They feel like it's... When they're with you, it's like being at home. It's like their vibrations are lifted, they're a lot happier, they know who they are, they can see a future when you're with them. This is the 11, this is the be all and end all. It's all the happy cards coming out today for a change. <laughs> but because, look now, not only that, they want to go to calmer waters. Do you see this, peeps? <laughs> they want to go to calmer waters. This is the Six of Swords. The six, of, the six of Swords is the Six of Voices. This is all about somebody wanting to go to Karma Waters. Why do they want to go to Karma Waters? They've been through the wars. Wait, spirit. 
This person has been through the wars. They've had some tribulations. They've been through some karma and they can't take it anymore. They just want to go to karma waters. They're probably up in, they're probably up curled up somewhere in bed, trying to hide from people, not answering the phone. They just want to have calmness in their life now. They don't want the drama anymore. Whereas they wanted the drama. And look, they want to work on their heart space. This is the Eight of Materials, which is the Eight of Wands. Sorry, no, the Eight of Pentacles. The Eight of Pentacles is talking about work. They want to move forward with something. They want to work on something. They want to work on their heart space. Because look, the Three of Voices is the Three of Swords. This is the stabation, the trication. Is it that this person went through karma now? This person, this is, you know what this is? This is future energies now. This person has gone through a stabation. This is the free. You see, look, look, look at the tears in the book. Can you see that? I don't know if you can see that properly, but this person has been through some heartbreak. Do you see the eyes crying at the top there and the three poking up there and somebody curled up like a ball? They've been through some heartbreak. Whoever this person is, they're trying to work on their heart space now. They're trying to figure out how they can come to a better place and this is what the karma waters is all about they want to go to karma waters look this person wants to go to karma waters they want to work on their heart space this is what this is about spirit come true spirit come true my spirit guides are gangster this is why they plant these things in my head you know they plant these things in my head deliberately because th this is about a person this is about do you know, it's somebody in their, either their masculine energy, twitch it, flip it, switch it, take it however you want to take it. But whoever was the runner in this situation has stood still now. They're standing still and thinking, what the hell was I thinking? Why am I behaving what I'm behaving? Why am I doing what I'm doing? They're analysing, they're researching, they're thinking about why they're doing what they're doing. Why do they attract the people they attract? Because let me tell you something. If you are seriously empathic, if you really are a twin flame, a soulmate, and I've said this before, you will attract dark entities to you for no goddamn reason. You attract dark entities, you attract people to with you and you don't understand why And it's because you're empathic and they see your light The darkest a person who is a twin flame, who is an empath Would still attract good and light and people will see the light I'll tell you how, I'll tell you if, You know, even if you're not into the spiritual realm or anything like that, right And you're empathic or you're the type of person that has a light Okay, you. Uh, this is how you know. You know the, the old saying when Jamaicans say something like, um, or, "Or just in normal, my spirit don't take to you, my spirit don't take to you." That is, that is your inner light talking. That is your inner light saying to you, "You can see something in that person that doesn't. Their light, their soul, is got dark entities attached to them." Okay, and this is what it is. This person doesn't know why he attracts. Or she attracts what they attract. And it's because they're empathic and they don't know it. Or it's because they have a light. They have a certain kind of light that people see and they can't see it. And this is what the problem is. Oh my life. <laughs> I wait for some like you. <laughs> and I thank God. Because they've had nothing but trication in their life. They've tried to work together with people. This is the Seven of Swords now. The trication, the stabation. Just like they gave you a stabation, they mirrored somebody else and did that. Somebody's done that to them and they think it's okay for them to do that to you. But they're realising, and they realise that that is wrong what they were doing. It's wrong what they were doing. Just because they, uh, they were stabbed in the back. And what people don't seem to understand, you should never live in the past and never try to live in the future because the future is unwritten and the past is gone, okay? It's who you are today because you're not the same person that you was five years ago. You're not the same person even six months ago. And this is what people don't seem to understand. You Maybe you was, I want to be a player no more. Maybe you was the player five years back. Maybe you won't be, you played the field five years back. Maybe you did things that you're ashamed of five years back. But that doesn't mean to say that you're the same person. This is what people don't seem to understand. And spirit is talking now, right? People don't seem to understand. You should live in the present. Live in the present. 
Think about the here and now. The future, yes, you, yeah, you can think about the future because what the mind can manage, imagine, imagine can be materialized. This is how inventions are born, okay? Someone imagined that invention and they put it into action and they put it in the material world. This is what energy is about. This is why I don't exchange energy unlikely with people because energy is energy. And if you start exchanging energy, especially sexual, sexual energy is the worst kind of energy you could exchange with somebody. Right? Because sexual energy, every time you have nookie with somebody, you're exchanging energy with the amount of people they've been sleeping with too. And if they've got dark entities attached to them, you're getting the dark entities too. And this is what people don't seem to understand. These things are real. <laughs> nobody lie down with nobody. Don't lie down with people. In, just for the sake of it. Just to get your rocks off. <laughs> Because you're, it's just not good. And this is what this energy is about. This person is being deceived. You see the foxes. When you see foxes in these cards, it means it's deception. It means it's lies. It means it's it's like someone playing chess games in the mind. And because the Seven of Voices is the Seven of Swords. Swords is all about the mind. It's all about communication. It's all about what the mind does. Right, and when you see the Seven of Swords, the Seven of Swords is about deception. You, uh, either this person is trapped in their mind, they're trapped in their mind, or they want to be deceptive towards being together with somebody. But at the same time, they may be even be deceiving themselves, because they could be deceiving themselves. And this is what I'm getting. This is it? I'm getting more the energy of someone is deceiving themselves rather than them deceiving somebody else. They've been. They've been a fool to themselves. They've just played themselves here. Do you know what I mean? They want to be with somebody, but at the same time, they want to be deceptive. Why? 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 It doesn't make sense, does it? It doesn't make sense. Why would you do that? And at the same time, I've got here, look. The five of materials, which is the five of pentacles, okay? Someone's trying to have strength not to be left out in the cold. Someone's trying to have the strength. Maybe, do you know what this smacks of? This is just telling me that they're trying very hard not to do what they were doing previously. And they're going to try and be inclusive and try and reach out to whoever they're meant to reach. Because Saturn is here and karma is... Here. When Saturn is in retrograde and it starts today... Karma is gonna nyam somebody. Let me tell you, karma nyam body today. <laughs> and this retrograde is not stopping till at least October. Okay, let me tell you something. Some people is gonna reach some karma. They're gonna realize some situations. They're gonna understand what they did wrong because divine is not playing anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Spirit ain't playing. Let me tell you, you people out there think you're going to be players. You, you, especially, do you know what? I'm not even saying the man them. You people out there that wants to be the player from the Himalayas. You people out there want to dip in and dip out. Spirit is here to slap some people down today. <laughs> Let me tell you. <laughs> some people's going to get some slapation. <laughs> The wrong you do follows you. <laughs> Let me tell you. And this person now, going back to this, this person wants to come out of this situation. They're probably at home napping. They're at home thinking about what they've done. What what Things are playing around in their head, what they've done and the cycles they've been through. They keep repeating the same cycles. And even if they do meet the right person, even if they do re meet the right person, they're not in the mind, they weren't in the mind, right mind frame at the mind, at the time to deal with the situation because they were cold and calculating and in their head. Get me? Okay. They were playing chess games. Spirit keeps bringing that to me, the chess games. Oh my life. <laughs> trying to have strength because they can see their person walking away this is the eight of emotions the eight of emotions is the eight cups it's about walking away turning their back 
you know what I mean? They've seen somebody, they've seen people do this to them time and time again. And it's only just now they're realizing and understanding why these people are doing it. Do you see that shadow? People are turning their backs on them. People are walking away from them and they don't understand. And that's part of their karma, they don't realize it. But look, the temperance card is here. The temperance card is here. What they've got to learn and understand is that they've got to have patience with themselves. It's patience with themselves more than anything else. Because what I'm getting from spirit is if you cannot love yourself, if you cannot give yourself the self-love and to understand that you need to love yourself before you can love other people because it's a complete disgust of... When you're doing things like that, when you're going in and out of an in and out, in and out, in and out, and you're being a player from the human... It's a lot to do with insecurities. You feel just because you can get these people that you should do that. It's insecurities. You're not, you're not secure in yourself. You're not secure that the one person that wants to be with you really wants to be with you. You think they're just here because they're here for sex or they're here for a reason that they want to take from you. And that's not always the case. You've got to use your intuition and understand who that, who that person is. This is what energy is all about. This is all about you having the discernment to understand and know who you are dealing with. Okay? This is for you to understand and know. This is what intuition is all about, that you've got to have the intuition and say, do I trust that person or don't I trust them? Okay, because I've had it in my head and I would say it time and time again. Get this, get this, get this little, this little thing. A person will show you who they are. When that person shows you who they are, believe them. When that person shows you who they are, believe them. And people show you who they are from early. But people always, always, always overlook who these people are because, oh, I've known this person for a long time and they only showed me this face. People have many faces. <laughs> this is what you don't seem to understand. And Jamaicans have a saying, come see me and come know me is two different things. Come see me and come know me. So it doesn't mean, you know, see, say for example, somebody is outside. You, you have a friend that you know and you, you, you spar with or whatever, right? But it's all right sparring with that person. This is what the saying means. It's all right sparring with that person. But to live with them is a different thing entirely. You really see who they are. <laughs> come see me and come know me a two different thing. <laughs> I'm telling you, I could keep going, but let me let me let me tell you something. This person has got to have patience with themselves. This card is about patience. This card has got to. This is about balance. This is all about walking. Up. This is like this person needs to walk away from certain things and have patience and balance. This person needs to understand they need to walk away from certain things because it's not doing them any good. Do you know what I'm saying? What we got here? If they do that, look what I've got here. Oh my God, look. The star and the awakening. You can't make this up. If this person walks away from the nonsense and heal from their situations, this is why this nap card is here. This is why the nap card is here, right? Because this person needs to go away and go within and realize they're going for an awakening. And this is somebody going for an awakening. The divine masculine sees them never wake up. <laughs> I never wake up because they're healing from the situation. I want that one piece, what that what? Oh, what the bungle wung up. You can't make this up, look. The star and the awakening card. This is why spirit makes me pick out certain cards, you know, because they, 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 you can't make this up. Honestly. Come true, spirit, come true. Then let's see what comes out. Yes. Do you know what it is? It's been illuminated to this person. Some this this is the moon card. Some people sometimes it's about secrets. So, but do you know what I'm getting more than anything else? This person it's been illuminated. All the things they've kept to themselves, all the secrets they've had, all the things that I've, they've done. Spirit is playing all of it back to them, playing it all back to them. And now look, the four of cups is here. The four of cups. They're now agitated about the situations they're in. They're now agitated. And look, it's just the one big cup there. Do you see the one big cup? This is the one big cup. And these are the choices. 
But this is what they should really be going for, is the one big cup. And do you see the two faces there? Can you see that? The two faces there. There's only one person they should be divided, they're divinely guided towards. And this is what's been illuminated to them. Sometimes it's about secrets, sometimes it's not. But I'm telling you, this is a divine connection that they should be looking at. And it's dawned on them now. I think these people are waking up.